Afternoon, guys. Not that I need an excuse to pull out some of my bigger, older engines, but I have a, a dear friend coming over today who has a an incarnation of the saw in the middle with the big bar. One of my home lights, and he doesn't need anything that big. He's already got some amazing saws in there, but. See how that runs compared to a couple of his early home lights, and if you might be interested. And so that's the spectacular home light 2100. Um, I think that's the biggest displacement saw that home light Terry did as 114 cc, so seven cubic inches. And It's interesting, I bought a few other engines as well just to show the sound differences and just the, the running characteristics differences as well. So, this then is the little home light. I say little, <laughs> relatively. So, this one's 77 cc's, 50.8 mil piston, oh, Imperial, yeah, 50.82 inch, and one and a half, 38, 38 mil stroke, give or take the odds. Is. Um, and in their native form, if they're fresh, they have really good compression and they state they can run up to a 30 inch bar. The biggest I've run on one of these I think is a 24 and I, I love the engines. They just, uh, so they call this the a Model C class. A bit different to the G class in the, um, in the home light range and I'll show you the similarity on the 21 in a minute. <laughs> This thing technically has a silencer. <laughs> if somebody can call that a silencer, they are absolutely deafening. I absolutely love these saws. Non AV, started life with the um, its slightly older incarnation, the C5. This is the C51, and the C5 has a different crank, uh, different full start assembly, and just a few odds and differences, but. Um, just the same beautiful non-EV early 60s saw, so they're spectacular. And then, oh, oh. so there's a 50.8 mil piston. So a lot of you will know this saw. Then these are the the 56s from steel, 1980s power saw, and this one running a 52 mil piston. Uh, a frightening creature in itself. Two more piston, and then again something oh, professional, something slightly more modern. Then the Echo 8000 80cc Japanese saw, again, all fantastic engines. Spectacular. And then, so then in piston size, it would be interesting. The spectacular wrecks in the background. West German, again, 60s classic, non-AV, um, big piston, 54 mil piston, and a 54 mil stroke, which is massive. Um, 25 spectacular and then the pioneers in the background the 650 
last of its type of breed in that, in that model and, and series. So that's running a 57 mil piston, which brings us on then to, oh, okay. This is the Home Light 2100 automatic. Um, so this is a model C designation from Home Light. You'll see it's got the exact same characteristics. I think pretty sure it's the same filler caps as well. Um, just a massive beefier felling spike. Petrol tank at the front. Just exactly the same same layout, but just unbelievable engine. 57 mil piston running a running a 45 mil stroke, I think they are, 44.5 or around that, 7 cubic inch, 114 cc's. So this is currently running a 42 inch bar and these can run up to a 60 inch bar. I think I have a 48 somewhere, although goodness knows what size tree you need for this. Um, decompression valve. So you think on the modern day equivalents then, if you started looking at some later um, okay, let's have a think about the saws that, that people might associate in the same classification as this. Love the um, the Huskies. So from the 285, of course, this is uh, why it's got 30 cc's on that. If you look at like something like the 2100 Husky, that is that's a six cubic inch engine. That's 100 cc's. If you looked at the What's the 3120, the latest one? About 119 cc's, a fraction bigger. I think it runs a bigger piston, that one. I think that's a 60 mil piston with a 42 stroke, is it? Shorter on the stroke. Or if you looked at something like the, um, something like the steels, like a, it's bigger than all of those. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. an 8.4, an 8.8. Eight. If you started looking at something like the, or the 7.5 or the 7.6, so the 75, 76, 111 cc's from steel, and they are, are they a 50, what's the 8.4 and 8.8? They're a 58 mil piston, the 8.4 and 8.8, so 57 mil piston, and so the 075, 076 then is 111 cc, so this is an absolute monster. Quite frightening to start as well. They have a decompression lever at the back which actually locks into place and um, you can really hurt yourself starting. Let me show you what this drill sounds like. decompression lever today. <laughs> chance to show I don't often get the chance to pull out some of the really big saws because it's I guess it's um, an acquired taste for a lot of people and again I'd never cut down a tree which needs anything like this size bar but as a as a piece of engineering so this comes in weight wise I think at I think they're around 20 I think 23 pounds for the power head so with this type of size bar on around the 29 pound mark 14 and a half kilos so the something like an 8.4 and 8.8 I think is three or four pounds less and you get a few more cc's and yeah there she is let me just show once more from the start and it's interesting as well because I find sometimes when I start this girl if the nose is down on a piece of wood you can find yourself being dragged along because of course they're it's bound to be nose heavy with such a large bar Okay, let's try to start her uh, carefully.
here, guys. I'm leaning back at an angle to offset the weight of this thing at the front. Okay. So there they are then, a few of my period monsters from the spectacular, slightly more modern pro saws like the Echo. The spectacular pro 80cc classification again with the steel. The vintage just bordering on 80 cc's with these gorgeous C model home lights, and then 103 cc's Pioneer 57 mil piston, 114 cc's 2100 57, and then the beautiful Solo Rex 125. Could of course bring out well, you could, you could bring out again. Really, you could have in here the 60142, the, the solos. You could have the um, 2100 and the Husky, a 3120 out here. The 84, the although they're more modern, they're in that they're in that series. Hope that's interesting, guys. Stay safe. Bye for now.